What up, Coop Group? Welcome to Alliance Wars Season 30, War Number 3, where SAS gets an uneven matchup again. SAS versus Noon. Yeah, minus 25 plus 75, that is so BS of a matchup. We have so many of these every season where we're always on the edge of Masters and we're facing people who are on the top three, top four of Masters. How is that fair? It's just not. We just get the luck, the bad luck of the draw and we barely ever fight against any Platinum Alliances ever. So we're not even going for top three. So why are we fighting as top three alliances? I have no clue. But anyways, welcome to Coop is Done Ranting. Um, I'll rant at the end of this video for sure, for sure. Um, but as you see in the thumbnail, most likely, this war did not go as planned. I was um, assigned Ghost, Wasp of Synergy, and then Black Widow Clairvoyant. Ghost was for Path 9, and then some of Path 5. Black Little Clairvoyant was for a Terax in Path 5 because you can't ghost that because you get armor broken. I mean, you can, but you won't be able to crit. Um, and then for Hazard Shift Nova, which I've never taken before. And there's a rant for that one, which will come later. Um, there's Hazard Shift Nova for Black Little Clairvoyant. I'm not sure if I should have used someone else who can both incinerate and be poisoned just fine. I don't like waiting out the phases ever. Um, that was one of the biggest things I told my officers at the beginning of the season, or beginning of last season, is one, I don't like fighting against new characters who I've never fought against before. And two, I don't like hazard shift with characters that have to wait out the phase because it just it doesn't go well. <laughs> but anyways, um, path one, path five, and then Nova. Let's get this going. Um, I'm not too late to war. They already started opening up section two. And I'm like, you know what? I can hit section one and two on the same um, same exact boosts. I am running out of 30% boosts, so I might as well just hit it if I can. I would have rather hit this um, and Nova in the same boosts. That would probably have been best to save my 30% boost especially, but it's not the way it planned. I get in trouble when I don't move. Um, especially when I'm running lower on 30% boosts, I could buy the cav EQ deal, but I'm trying not to spend for Black Friday at all. So I'm trying to make sure I keep all my units for Black Friday. Um, I'm at like almost 19k as you see there, but yeah, boosting up big, um, that 75% <laughs> XP boost is going to be going for the next three days. It's going to help me win all the war fights. First fight is against Professor X, but Coop, Ghost, Professor X can hit through Ghost phase. Exactly. So I have to be careful there. I cannot use my phase to my advantage. I don't have the hood synergy, so I would take all the damage when he hits my phase. So my um I'm doing I have power start one boost here for the next two fights. My goal here is to just parry him and do some hits. Um getting some big damage here. I have to watch out for the um the falter. You're gonna see that the falter happens exactly when um the High ground happens. I think I take a... Yeah, so I take that hit there. I hit into his phase, or into his miss. Um, there's two high grounds, so I'm taking a lot of damage here. But this fight's over. It's just a joke. I took way more damage than I need to because of the high ground block damage. Ridiculous. Should have gone for an intercept, although <laughs> it would not have gone well. Um, don't even know how that special one hit me. I don't remember phasing back that early. Anyways, now we're on to FinTech. Yes, you see FinTech, who was one of the top... People in the Summoner Showdown this year. Um, this is his Masakure, Massacre, whatever you want to call it. Easy fight. Get to a special two. Honestly, I don't even know why I put on a tech power boost. But luckily, I kept the same tech power boost on. Boom. Dead. So quick. Didn't even heal up for that fight. Probably should have. But kept the same tech power boost on for the fourth fight. Um, I was going to use a Mystic power boost for this Terax. But... All the duels that I did, I told myself, I can get this fight down easily in two minutes. Um, this is Ebon Flow Intercept, and Terax is very aggressive when he's in his rock phase. So I'm going to hit into him during his rock phase, and then I'm going to, um, after the specials, then I'm going to intercept him because it's going to be super easy. He's super aggressive at that time. And then I'm going to back off, and then I'm going to use my specials. going to switch into, um, I think I'm going to switch to Incinerate phase. This fight actually goes really well. I have willpower going three out of three, so I'm getting a lot of power, back, a lot of health back. And he didn't damage me. He didn't um intercept me. Normally they punish. He just held block. I got lucky there. Um, but I'm in incinerate phase. I'm being special one here. 
I'm going to intercept him right here. Intercept. Awesome. Going to wait out his rock stacks, his rock phase. It is done. Now I'm going to throw a big special two and incinerate phase. Um, I could switch to bleed, but it's it's pointless. Just do the extra damage. Look at that 22k. That was huge. If I had a power back boost, I would have gotten so much power back here. Uh, Evan Flow turned off. Now I'm going to bait special one. Um, try to intercept him again right after it. Um, right here, get the intercept perfectly. He is aggressive. Going to back off during rock phase. I think one or two specials again is gonna. I'm going to need. Um, luckily, Evan Flow is about to end. Going to throw this right before Evan Flow ends, and he is dead. That fight went really well. In a minute and 10 seconds, way better than I thought it was going to go. Um, it would have been a lot quicker if I had on the Mystic Power Boost, but I needed the Tech Power Boost for this Chavez right here. And my god, I am afraid of fights that I don't know. She is one to two months of a new champion. I don't have one. I never played it. Never fought her in war before. So this is the first time I ever fought Mirko Chavez in war. Hopefully that goes well. Going to put back a um, my second Advanced Power Boost. Um, I did put in bomb the last fight just in case I got hit. Um, gonna get intercept off right here. Um, not sure why I did two hits in my phaser, but getting some power back. Just gonna hold my block. Hopefully she runs in. She does, and fight is over in under twenty seconds. Now that fight went really well. I think if she's on ebb and flow knockdown, it'd be harder. By the way, I do take her in ebb and flow knockdown next war, and we'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to give that one energy to Nick Fury right here, just so I can help out with energy. Uh, again, I would have loved to have done all my five fights on the same boosts, but it's at 16 hours left of war. I think in a, with a, a few more hours, yeah, six hours later, I am taking these boosts, or this war and boosting up again. Take this Nova on Hazard Shift, and it is high ground. So when he gets his high ground stacks, and he hits into my block, Especially his specials in my block. It's going to do so much damage. Especially if he builds them up. So I have on Suicide Tier. But I was told, because he starts in Incinerate Phase, to wait out to the Incinerate Phase, go to Poison, and then from there go to Incinerate and just destroy him. Don't let the high ground build, because if it does into my block when I'm baiting heavies or anything, it just won't be pretty. It's going to be so much block damage. It's going to put on Inbound Boost in a second. Um... Kind of something I chose on my own that no one told me is I wanted to turn off his Fury right away because he has a Fury. And if you intercept him with that Fury or anything, he's going to auto block you and it just won't be pretty. Because then he's probably going to either parry me if he has 75 plus charges or just anything else. Um, I am risking at the beginning of the fight when I, par when I attack him. Um, I am risking um, getting incinerated. But it's a small incinerate. I have willpower on. It's going to be okay. I'm um, going to do it right here. Turn it off. Um, hit it into his block. Push him back. Now I can hit him. If, and um, I can have him hit into my block until right now when high ground turns on. 750 per hit. Oh. Did a thousand there. But I'm going to turn um, into poison phase. Perfect. And bye bye. Two hits of my indestructible. I have one more indestructible left. And there goes my <laughs> my combo. I need to switch to Incinerate right here. Perfect switched. Incinerate is active. And boom, some big damage there. Um, and if I do the rest of this fight right, I will not take any more blocked hits. If I do it right. He has three high ground charges. Three. Watch this. I'm going to evade this fully. Full evade. Perfect. That would have done so much damage in into my block. Um, back to Incinerate phase. We're good. Turn off his fury. Big special two. Wait, what? And I switch into poison or into bleed mode? Dude, I was so pissed when that happened. I was so pissed because I knew I had this fight down. And I'm like, dude, I need to switch to poison now. Fully evade that almost. I'm going to run in in a second. I'm like, dude, I am screwed. Now I have to wait this out. What the hell? <laughs> um, I, he, now his charge is a building. And he intercepts me. And I'm still in bleed phase. This is not good at all. Switch. Throw a special two in poison phase. It's okay. I have another special. I probably should have thrown another special two right here. But I always been silly. And somehow he parries me right here. Threw a special one and I'm dead. First death of the season. First of all, 
I think someone else should have taken this node or this fight, someone who is experienced with it. But I think everyone who is experienced with this fight wasn't able to take it. Um, there was no videos that I was shown, so it's my fault. I did, I did do a lot Nova practicing evading a special one and two, which why I was able to evade a special one and two there. Um, but I'm so sad right here that I took my first death of the season. I switched to bleed mode out of nowhere. Not sure how I did that light attack. I didn't even do a fourth light attack, but somehow this stupid phone did. Man, I was so pissed. Now, this war was already lost for sure at this point. We already had over 10 deaths less than, uh, more than them. Um, but it just doesn't feel good to take a death, especially to something like that when it happens. Like, why would I ever do a fourth light attack to switch from incinerate when I was in incinerate phase to a bleed? No clue. Um, rant over. Five fights this, this um, war. One death. Too many potions. Four 9k potions. That's 30k... 36k um, health that I had to get back. And I would have had to just maybe do one potion this whole war if I would have been able to solo that fight. And I know that next time I take that fight, it's soloable. I can do it easily. I know it. Because if I had stayed in incinerate phase, I would have had that so easy. But he built up his charges, his Nova charges, which meant that he was able to parry me, plus he was able to go unblockable. Um, and also... He was building up his high ground charges. Kind of to wait out to um to switch back to poison and incinerate. So I, if I were to block, I would have taken a lot of block damage. So it just wasn't pretty when that happened, and I was so pissed. As you see, I was trying to bait out everything, just trying to intercept him, and I got comboed. And then I blocked his special two, took a lot of high ground damage, and then I got parried, and it, that was that. Um, he had like twenty percent left, and I knew that fight was so possible. So I'll probably be assigned that fight again. Um, I would love to take my Mephisto to rank 3, but I don't have the resources for that fight. Um, it's a lot safer because I can hit him whenever. Um, I think Red Hulk would be good there also, as long as you're able to um, turn off his Nova Charges in some way and not let him go unblockable because he will build those. Um, but bad thing with Red Hulk is a lot of his damage is from his Special 3 Incinerate. And if you throw a Special 3 Incinerate... The big issue there is that it makes the high ground go quicker, so there's a lot more block damage. Um, Blackwater Clairvoyant can nullify his fury, which means that you can intercept him and hit him freely without him parrying you. Um, she's great for that node, and I did decent. I had on suicides, but sadly, I died. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my ranting and just me being pissed off. You'll see it happen again next war. So yeah, it's Coop. Sign off. Happy gaming.